Lauren, here we are, still at the beginning. I've always been one to look ahead and to anticipate the curves of life so I could both protect myself and to appear more prepared and capable than I actually would feel. No part of my planning would have predicted you choosing me to be your person. Samuel. I've been on quite the relational journey over the years. A few times I've said I love you, a couple times I've thought this is the one. But then 10 minutes ago I found you, and then I really knew. <laughs> I love writing letters, but I think I've always used them as a way to say things I was too scared to say in the first place. And I know this is essentially the first letter I've written to you. It's because you've made me so comfortable to say everything that has always been on my mind. I have never felt so confident and secure in a relationship to fully and freely be myself. Lauren, the acceptance and love that you've shown me propels me towards the best man I will be able to be. And I promise to never stop working to be the husband and life partner that you deserve. I promise to continue to face my fears, whether it is to be part of one of your adventures, in snowboarding, in rock climbing, in motorcycles, thankfully not skydiving, or to delve further within myself to grow as your husband in areas that demand it. I am so proud of you for all that you've conquered to get here today. I'm so proud of you for For never giving up on a dream that you could have everything you would ever want. And I can't wait to spend all the rest of our days together. To raise all the dogs and all the kids. To be a light and a godly force for our friends, family, and community. You are the love of my life. You are the dream of my heart. And still, at times I feel unprepared. Yet I am confident both in Christ and in my place with you. And I love you and I'm in love with you. And of that I'm certain. Lauren, I vow to keep Christ woven into the fabric of our family, to be your home and safe refuge in times of sorrow and uncertainty, and your greatest supporter in times of celebration. I vow to champion you toward and through your dreams, to love and commit to continually relearn your evolving interests and passions. I fell in love with the one and promised to fall in love with the one you become in five, 10, and if we're so lucky, 60 years. I vow to foster and cultivate community across and amidst our lives, and to bring excitement and enthusiasm to even the most ordinary of days. I vow to bring calm and steadfastness in times of chaos that will come, as long as we both shall live. How to keep Christ <clears throat> woven into the fabric of our family, to be your home and safe refuge in times of sorrow and uncertainty, and greatest supporter in times of celebration. To champion you towards and through your dreams, to love and commit to continu continually relearn your evolving interests and passions. I fell in love with the one 
and promise to fall in love with the one you become in five, 10, and if we're so lucky, 60 years. And to foster and cultivate community across and amidst our lives, to bring excitement and enthusiasm to even the most ordinary of days. To bring calm and steadfastness in times of chaos that will come. As long as we both shout. Let this ring in devotion to you. Lauren, let this ring be a symbol of my love and devotion to you. We now pronounce ourselves, ourselves married. married. Husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look, I had to open my eyes at the last part to not step on anything. <laughs>